Within the human body, and to varying degrees in all other mammals, we have two general depots, or types of fat. The majority of the fat that we have is a type of fat called white fat. And then, in smaller amounts throughout the body, we have brown fat. Now, they actually do look differently. If you look at a piece of white fat, it looks very white. Brown fat looks very brown. The reason it looks brown is because it has a very high level of mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. In fact, it almost starts to look a little bit like muscle. It's this dark reddish brown because of all of the mitochondria. And this is reflective, this very appearance, of a functional difference in these two different types of fat. With white fat, and with very low level of mitochondria, it's no surprise that white fat has a very low metabolic rate. It doesn't have to do a lot of work. Brown fat, in contrast, has a very high metabolic rate, which is not surprising given the high level of mitochondria that it has. But even beyond that, these mitochondria behave a bit uniquely because they are very inefficient. They're burning energy just for the sake of producing heat. And so it's not surprising that in humans who have more brown fat or have brown fat that's more active, they are much more resistant to weight gain, much more likely to have less effect, less risk of typical cardiometabolic complications.